Hi guys, I'm Exactas and welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. We are playing the Emergency Master Hospital and we are kind of doing well actually. We've got a 4 star prestige rating, 75% today. We've treated all the patients we possibly can. We can probably hit that 15 patients per day mark. Maybe not quite. We still need to treat like 5 in the next, I think it's an hour. And then, uh, then we'll do that. But... What I'm kind of thinking, so at the moment we've got no hospitalization going on, we've got no other clinics and we probably need to open another specialized clinic somewhere over here. Uh, and we haven't even started getting ourselves close to hospitalization for this. And we only can unlock this a little bit later if we get to the, uh, to the insurance industry pieces, bits and pieces. So if we look over here, um, open a clinic at any specialized department, then we can get these guys. Um, which is five ambulances. So I think here, somewhere along the line, we'll need to get that hospitalization, but probably just a step up as we go through here. That's okay. So let's, um, there's tons of bonuses, objectives that we can grab. But what I think we need to do is we need to open a clinic at a specialized department, at any specialized department. So we kind of need to, but we don't have any patients that can go there though. So let's just speed along. I was kind of wondering whether we need to do some other labs though. And well, what I thought is, initially I thought Ooh, we'll plan this whole thing out, but it seems like we're just gonna have to grow naturally. Aha, there's no clear diagnosis. Uh, so I want to have a look at what this guy is saying. He's got nail discoloring. Um, he needs a mycological, a mycologic sample. Yes, sorry about that. My, um, my, uh, my medical terms is not too great. Um, so it needs a microbiology lab. So effectively, that's that's the next thing we're going to do. So it's kind of just going to be about sorting things out like that. Um, what I was thinking is, instead of yeah, we'll go, we're going to try and build these things a little bit cost effectively. But I think from time to time we're going to spend a bit of time and we're going to move things around. Um, just within our hospital pocket, I do want us to. Um, potentially run a nice big donut shaped hospital with a bit of a with a bit of an internal area over here um, and then we'll see about getting um, a, a variety of locations where we get uh, lifts maybe on the on the on the four sides something like that I think that's kind of what I'm what I'm after um, and I think that would be that would work pretty well um, with this shape, but we need to get it a fair bit wider as well. So what I'll do as a starting point, but we'll need to run a corridor right down the middle of it. So let's maybe expand it a little bit uh, because we need to. So what are we at at the moment? At the moment, we're at 25. 25, we can probably do 30 by 30. 30 by 30. So let, let, let's think about this logically. If we're saying we are going to do a corridor in the middle with rooms, um, that's about eight wide. No, six. Six is actually what we're running at. We're running five here, but that's maybe a little too narrow. If we're going to say six wide, then let's say a four corridor and a six again, that's 16. Um, so then 20, 25 is more than sufficient in terms of width. Alternatively, if we do 6, 4, 6, 6, 4, and 6. So we'll do a double corridor with rooms. Um, that could actually be pretty good, actually. So that's 6 and 4, that's 10. Double 6 is 12, 22 plus 4 is 26, plus 6 is 32. So I think 32 is where we're at. So let's do, let's get this thing to go up to 32. So we're at 25 at the moment. Okay, so let's do this. 25 plus 7. We'll run it in there all the way to 32. There we go. And we will fill up this section like so, and we will fill up that section like so. So this is going to be what we're going to move around, and the center is going to be 
um, our our corridor so we'll, we'll see so it's probably gonna be a small little uh, corridor courtyard a small little courtyard is what I think is gonna gonna end up being in there we spent a little bit of money on that um, now gonna grab our walls a little bit I'm gonna get rid of can we use control to do that nope you can't can you do shift nope you can't you're just gonna have to click this button delete walls is that it anyway okay so we're gonna get delete get rid of that we're gonna go with um, external patterns that looks a little colored wall is that no that can't be the one this is the one we're gonna extend that one a little bit that way and we need to bear in mind that this is this is predominantly gonna be our emergency section then if we go with the red color and we just kind of uh, we're gonna wrap it in there a little bit we'll go ahead and clear out this wall and see how we going to just fix the rest of that in there so potentially what is this what is this is this six let's let's have a look can we have a look and see that's eight so we've potentially gone too far so we might need to tweak that thing a little bit over there if we go with this and we get that external yet again we'll just run it straight over there okay so now we've kind of got what we're going to do here we need a microbiology lab none of this is in in line with what we're what we're doing anymore can we can we potentially move rooms move a room or a selected area oh i love it remove rooms saved prefab blah 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 so if i grab that can i let, let me let me do this so if i say that oh you can move the room but not the walls but that's that's a good that's a good starting point because that tells us tells us we can do a little something with that because that's something that i'm going to need us to get get our minds wrapped around um so for now so if we say six yeah is that eight as well if i copy create prefab is that oh that's not actually going to tell us let's just go back to the walls thing so we can have a look is that that is seven and that is seven it's seven by seven it's the worst possible possible shape that it can be um, okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of one of these so if we go go here and I didn't I'm not actually planning on doing too much editing what did I what did I get rid of oh it was a decal it was a decal can I get rid of the doors please I wanna sh uh, really just we're just gonna make it a little smaller can I okay I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna get rid of that one okay then we're gonna so one two is gonna be smaller we're gonna squeeze that one in there actually let's in fact make it now a glass door so that it all looks not a glass wall a uh, glass door okay and this is the color that we're using over here don't quite like it though anyway that's okay um, we will I'll just uh, I'll just place these oops that's not the one I'll just place these uh, in here a tad so we can uh, see about moving things around a little do that okay now what we'll do is we'll bring in another mm, bring in the door yeah like that that's good uh, that wall was in there okay now let's start doing the walling thing uh, what is the wall that we're using here though we see Ooh, it looks bad it looks bad and okay so let's get let's just get that that wall there and we'll do that and we'll do that and we'll do that okay and then we can re we can move this stuff back to where they they are they belong okay 
something like like so. Uh, let's uh, we'll get rid of that poster. Put it over there or something. Honestly, you can't use that. No, that's okay. That's fine. And uh, oops, what did I pick? Okay, and we will move you over there. So now you've got plenty of space over there. We'll go in and get rid of this wall. Like so, and like so. We'll have to have a quick look at our room to just uh, go ahead and delete that section. I understand that. Now we're going to go with extra room again. We'll place it in there. Nice. Um, you, oops, I want to assign someone I've already got working here. Lisa, you can work there. So that's all fixed up. Now that one's open. Let's uh, get our flooring back in here. So now, and we can move this door around a little bit later, but if we go with the white flooring, so that is the first step towards getting us back towards uh, towards the right stuff. Did I not, what? Did I, did I not have flooring in there? Anyway, well, we'll see if I, if I do put flooring in there, can I move that entire thing around? So let's go here, see about moving. Let's see about moving this room. Move a room. Can we grab that room? What? Huh? What? Am I using this wrong? Move a room or select the area. Is that not? Hang on. Selection contains objects that are in use. Oh, ooh, ooh, oops. Okay, so we'll have to see how we go. So what I'll do is I'll start the new lab down here. Um, so what I'm needing to do is the microbiology lab. We're going to do six by seven. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be the the kind of methods that we're going to do six by eight could also work but i think six by seven is going to be fine um okay now let's uh let's go in here we'll go and start our construction straight away we're using the black color um maybe something like that instead um so we'll do a little something like so and now there's tons of room in here so potentially this one will just be on the opposite side of the of the corridor and that internal corridor that's 12 wide could be pretty good for operating theaters and, and, and the likes let's grab over here we'll grab the uh, the lighter one there so we'll put that in there and then we'll click over here and we'll get the stuff that we're missing so we need a few of these guys so we'll do a couple over there we're going to grab ourselves just our double double glass door potentially something like that's a good spot for it <clears throat> that's going to oh then we need to make, make sure we get the right equipment in here start off with the uh, the, the lab sink basically okay so we'll do why is that an issue is that on is that on the wrong side of the wall hang on can I just it's not on the wrong side of the wall by no means so why that is a bit of a problem. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's okay. We'll get the biohazard next to it there. That's good. That's good. Now we'll need some good glassware, maybe in the corner there. Uh, we'll need a couple of PCs. So we get two, two people to work here. We'll get this hunk of chunk of stuff. Uh, maybe over here in this corner. We'll grab a microscope over there. Get a couple of these stools. We're going with black now. So we'll do something like that. Mm, we need a, f a, a fume hood. Okay. Do a fume hood over there. Mm, we need a printer and a sample fridge. So let's actually get our sample fridge over here as well. And then we'll just do something small for the printer maybe. Uh, ooh, and I would like us to oh okay what we can do is we could add another one of those but we can also do this in a color that's yeah it's interesting that it wants it to sh change it up that way so we'll do something like that we'll gra go up we'll get our printer ok 
Okay, we could do a paper trail tray as well, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do there. Um, wall mounted lab shelf, lab shelf, we'll get a lab shelf in there. So it's just gonna look a little bit more professional. So that's all the stuff that we need in there. If we go in terms of decor, uh, we could probably put a little plant on this thing. No, they don't like it. So we'll put a clock in there. We'll get ourselves um, a plant down there so it's a little nicer. We'll get an info board um, ooh, right up here somewhere. But we could also go out external, get ourselves a couple of these um, glass walls. No, no, no. We want windows. And what are we using? The glass... Which windows are we using actually? That one looks... Oh, it's this one. There we go. So we'll go and grab a couple like that. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, should this guy get a window though? We'll do a window in there. See if that works. That looks pretty good. We'll do some stuff like that. Um, okay, so we're going to leave it like that for now and then we'll continue um, the game so let's uh, get the white flooring in here there is a there is a waiting area over here for the for the guys so I think that should do the trick so ooh, we need someone to work there though so I'm going to need one of these people and this is microbiology so I think biochemistry is what we're after isn't it let's just get uh, Sarah to work there um, so she's a scholar, so she might go first. She's got very good biochemistry rating over there. So we'll get Sarah to work at the lab over there. Back to the game. Um, so let's uh, let's run it, see where that goes to. Mm. We still have this person actually waiting where I need to say, actually go with the, uh, the sampling, please. Okay, so the, the labs are busy running, but I, I like what we're doing with our setup now. We just need to move a few more things. We probably need to rejig our um, employee has no workspace. Go to please. Did I, I did assign her, right? She's back there. Yeah, she's back there. It's, uh, there's no clear diagnosis. Perfect. Okay. Okay, good stuff. So we're getting that to go now. God. Ooh, who's who's gone home? Peter Hall. Let's have a quick look what happened here. Oh, he's gone home? No. No, 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 no. No, no, he's not gone home. What does this mean? Um, patient intake from insurance companies. Untreated patients today. Treated patients today. Okay, so that's the patient intake. So we have a total of 20 people that is coming today. That's untreated yet today. So uh, why is he leaving though? I don't think he's leaving. Is he leaving? He's currently getting a fungal cultivation going on. Unless it's the end of the day though. Ah, uh, yes, it's the end of the day. So we didn't manage to, to get him sorted at the end of the day. That's kind of where we ended up with. Okay, so now let's speed that along. Uh, the clinic's opening hours end. So our very first day didn't do too badly. We treated 11 uh, patients and only two not. We've got room workload statistics. So let's have a look. Um, I need to find out. So two rooms had low utilization. Two, oh, this is night. Proper lunch, had coffee, rested. So the staff is pretty good in terms of satisfaction. Um, that's insurance companies. This is by patients. I don't quite know, understand how to be reading this. It's just effectively saying that two had a very low workload during the day, no workload at night. Um, and I'm thinking idle is probably an issue as well. Idle rooms one, the room with a critical workload is one, but it's not actually telling me that, is it? Open departments, patient table, open table, dependency three. Ooh, I like this. I haven't seen this. Medium and high hazards needs reception. Low hazards go straight to um, to the waiting room. Then to the doctor's office. Um, then the doctor can either send them for um, 
for lab stuff in the clinic or radiology in the clinic or to the doctor's office in the specialist departments. From the clinic, it can go into, well, no, no, that's just all back to that line. From hospitalization in, uh, in the emergency department, it can go to ICU, the, the patient, I mean, immobile comes in through the trauma center. This is really cool. I like this. And then these guys get people that goes directly to their reception and waiting rooms. But I wouldn't, I would imagine medium and high as it doesn't go to the reception of these clinics. They would go to the reception of the ER clinic. That's just a little weird. And then hospitalization where all of the other bits and pieces are going on, including, um, and they can get in through here as well. And they can get in through there as well. So it's a, it's a good, it's a good, good little flow chart to show you how it all works but i still can't find what is the critical um the critical room the room that had critical work it must be one of these um it must be one of these uh, doctor's rooms uh, and while we're well anyway while we're looking at this uh, now we could potentially go ahead and quickly reshuffle some of this so that area is okay I'm very tempted to move that room around here and build them out a little bit. Uh, can we? Oh, we can rotate. My goodness. Oh, and now we can. Oh, we. That's a new thing. This must be new. The rotate thing must be new. Anyway, I like the idea of rotating it. So now we can actually see what is going on on the various things. And we can see those walls are horrendous. But I will have to rotate back to see what we've used there. And we'll need to do a little bit of this half wall, half, half thingy. Um, okay, so I'm not sure we need to... I'm not, I'm not sure we need to rush changing things up here a little bit. But anyway, I think what we'll do that is... How wide is that? How wide is this? Let's have a look. Is that... Oh, it's seven. Oh, it's seven. It kills me that it's seven. Um, this one, I think, is going to be fine. If we go ahead and say, copy it or move it. So none of these are now working. So I can go here. I can grab this room. I, I understand. We're going to move you around so that it's six. It's going to be six wide. That is a effectively what we're going to do I love it uh, we're going to move that plant somewhere where it makes sense yeah that's a good spot right there we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> grab ourselves uh, some of the doors and stuff that we were looking at previously so I'm going to go with a glass wall there and we're going to go with a glass door of the emergency room variety over there um, Oh, actually, we can do that, okay? So that it's at least the same color as it goes through there. Um, so that's okay. That should all work. What we will need to get rid of, though, is these, which is fine. That works perfectly well over there. And then we can kind of snip that out and, and, and see how we, how we deal with that. Okay, so I think that's okay. The other thing I wanted to do is I potentially wanted to just um, move. Yeah, these decals though. I want you to be moving the decal first. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll get this thing over there. We'll do, yeah, this time it works. We'll move that one over. Get that decal out of the way. Oops. Um, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rotate it a little bit so that we can see what we're dealing with over here. We're going to put in an extra wall here. The red wall uh, does this, I believe, is what we're after. So we want to do that piece. We can extend these two a little bit uh, in a while. Uh, at the same time, I want to get rid of this nice i'm going to move that forward a little bit i'm going to move that a little bit and i think that should be okay can we not um this does not want to move 
Okay, well, if that doesn't want to move, that's okay. Shall we... Maybe these guys can't actually sit on a stool. So what we'll do while we're at it is let's just get a... Get one of these chairs over here. And the patient will kind of sit over here. I'm assuming that is a, an acceptable strategy. Okay, let's go here, get grab ourselves the floor. Ooh, what is that? Pillars, nice. Uh, we might need to do pillars a little bit later. We, <clears throat> we're going with hardwood floors, so we'll do that. Squeak that in there. Oh, yes, I need to change the room a little. Um, let's get the doors in there. So we're going to go with the glass wall. Um, and potentially we'll just do the one <clears throat> glass wall and then the glass door next to it. So that we can go ahead and get our room stuff sorted again. So you'll go in there. Get this guy. You don't, don't want to go on there. So anyway, you'll go on that side. And we've got tons of these things that we can just slowly move. Do we have... What's going on here? Oh, it's a little bit too close for comfort now. Okay, so anyway, that's okay. We'll do that for now. I need one more wall section just here. Um, but I can't remember what we actually used inside. Uh, we used the pattern thingy. The pattern thingy. So we used... Uh, probably this let's uh, let's up uh, uh, yeah absolutely half pattern we use that okay so let's um, uh, of uh, but we didn't do that we did this one I would I would say okay so it's more more of a pinkish color we'll make our rotations over there and we'll squeeze it in make our rotation over there and we will squeeze it in we'll do a very similar thing over there uh, and like so, and oops, uh, like that. Okay, so now those rooms are at least um, feeling a little bit better. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that stool. Let's get go to the equipment piece. We're gonna get rid of that one, and we'll get a nice fancy chair um, that can effectively go. Something like that. I think that will work. Okay, so there's, there are those two doctor's rooms now. Um, did we... We never put decals on the other one. We'll get the decals a little later. Um, now, so now this is a very, very narrow little hallway. So I'll grab this thing. We'll move it out there for a minute. And I'm going to get rid of these walls. So unfortunately, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to time from time to time sort out things like this a little bit we'll come back uh, but I think this this area here is actually quite appropriate for our for our um, our staff room or our common room so let's uh, copy and move our common room over uh, this is the button I believe so yeah we'll just grab that guy and we're just gonna place it over there we will get rid of all of those walls there. Just like that, uh, just like this, and just like that. Uh, and this is wrong because I needed to move it out one that way. So that's not great. This was not, not done the way I wanted it to do it. Let's try it again. Over there, move it over one that way. And let's try all of that yet again. So yes, I'm, I'm going to do a bit of this from time to time. So um, because it is just a little bit too difficult to plan out the whole thing um, from scratch. And I'm going to move that thing again at a late stage once we've got the other side sorted out. Okay, so this thing here goes in there. Where is our... Did we we lost the TV? We need to sort out our rooms a little as well. Equipment um, in the waiting room over here. We don't have the TV, so we'll uh, put the TV up there. Yeah, that's going to be cool. That's going to work quite well. So that's okay. Now let's get the flooring sorted out, and then we'll get the room sorted out, and then we'll just leave it like that for a little while as we continue to run run things a bit. So we'll do that, and we will do that. Good stuff. 
Now the common room is nice and in the middle there. Uh, let's quickly see what's happening with our rooms. Yes, in fact, this is some problematic room setups over here. So let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. That one actually works as is, which is, ah, oh, let's see, this is wider, bigger. Anyway, that could be okay for now. Uh, we need some rooms here. So we need a waiting room that I'm gonna just run all the way like so. And we're gonna need a doctor's office uh, in here. And I believe all of that is now fine. I'm just gonna make sure that we uh, get this Uh, Dr. Lisa Foster here for the day shift uh, over here for the day shift is Kate Wilson um, and the rest is fine okay now let's get back to back to work right this was the this was fine right we didn't have any other weird stuff with the rooms yeah all the other stuff with the rooms are now sorted out okay back to back to the game let's Let's speed it up to the next day. Five rooms idle during the night, and we are pretty clear on that. We knew that. Um, we knew that much. Ah, oh, now there's someone doing a little bit of cleaning in the emergency department. So this broom closet or cleaning closet thing is going to be a bit of an issue, I think, as we go along just because um, just because all of our respective areas needs cleaning closet um, access and we can't get this one cleaning closet even though the clinic is small we can't get this one cleaning closet to manage all of them or can we it's not something I've had a, a lot of a look at just yet okay we've got a number of labs available but there's a few things that's probably not um, done just yet and we obviously still need the um, specialized clinic clear all of those notifications still need a few decals up here I can see the second doctor's room doesn't have it it's decal our chairs are now actually working within the um, within the doctor's room oh actually there is a fair bit of cleaning going on everywhere from the one cleaner there. I just don't like the fact that he's, uh, he's leaving his, his little cart uh, in the doctor's office. But anyway, going on strong. We are treating a fair bit of people now. It's about midday and we've treated five. We could certainly do with another doctor's office. Patient cannot get diagnosed correctly. So what are we needing here? Uh, we could do, oh, it's more a fact of they don't quite know well, didn't get um, get diagnosed correctly. Okay, so there's a few things going on here. So it can either be um, infectious monon mononucleosis or laryngitis. And we should probably go for... Um, it's definitely, definitely something over there. Whether it's a chest x-ray. I don't know if either of these needs a chest, chest x-ray. But internal medicine department would be required to treat some of these guys. Okay, so let's uh, let's assume it's laryngitis. Oh, actually, it's probably that one, isn't it? Well, do, let's do a nasal cavity inspection. And uh, not sure if this will help us okay well that at least solve some of it and then we'll see how that goes let's see let's uh, let's let's have a look at this one and we've gone a little bit over the time but i think i'll extend the episode lengths a little bit oral cavity inspection is happening oh it's actually laryngitis is it are we picking up that final hidden one Oh, we did, in fact, see that dysphagia. Okay, so what we have here, so let's say we're, we're treating laryngitis, um, but for some of these other things, so dysphagia, we need diet modification. So let's assume we need to get that. The others, antibiotics is what we've got, nasal congestion, nasal drops, 
NSA IDs, analgesics, NSA IDs. So let's uh, let's provide all of that. Um, available treatments. Really? We can't send this person home with laryngitis? Oh, maybe we can. Yep, all of that's done. Let's send that person home. Sent home. Okay, sorted. All sorted. Just incorrect diagnosis. So we'll sort that out again. We're going through pretty quickly, but we're not going to get to 15 people, I think. We need an extra doctor's room over here. A clinic patient is about to leave. And why is that? Hasn't been seen by any doctor for a very long time and is getting tired of waiting. Ooh, okay. So I'm sure that is pretty much the thing. So, yeah, I think we do, in fact, need an additional doctor in the emergency clinic over here. So well, what I'll go ahead, yeah, yet another one. What I'll go ahead is I'm going to end the episode over here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll add yet another room. I'll maybe mix, the, I'll ma maybe make the final changes as I, as I wanted to over here. And uh, and then we'll and then we'll see in the next in the next episode I'll show you um, um, the this the swing around of the th few things that I wanted to wanted to do here. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. I do appreciate your your ongoing support. Um, come and join us on the Discord. The link is in the description of the video. And uh, yes, I will see you next time. Bye bye.